yeah so i've been playing with this camera for four hours now i i start with don't like this camera i probably hate this camera it probably the most not good camera i ever played it's alongside with the leica x1 and this uh, sigma D, dp dp2 these two cameras are the most um, bad camera but uh, after play a couple hours i really like this camera surprise 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 mm, i just quickly talk about uh what uh, who this camera is for i think it's for people that that really questioning the main the mainstream camera or this um, you probably don't like canon you probably don't like a nikon you probably don't even like film because i think film is too costly for photography and also uh, everyone's getting to rico gr mm, you want something different this is nothing similar to rico gr but the 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 concept is the same it is something different so you see the picture is i i really like the picture i mean the color is probably the one of the best it more alongside with the uh, it probably better than rico gr it better than um, any other camera brand i think it's alongside with leica it probably it's not really a better color but you see that really in different point of view it it offer a really sadness the saturation and the color are mm, when using indoor using the you can see it rendered color different it probably the best camera for cloudy day for raining day because it's really not happy the shadow and the, the darkness the color i think most of the camera really struggling in in cloudy day because uh, most camera try to render the cloudy day to a beautiful to a uh, happier environment but this camera it doesn't it doesn't render happiness in my opinion it just render everything a bit sad i don't know why sigma did this i don't know they're intentional or they just prefer this color or is it a foveal sensor thing but i will post the picture at the back you will see they all have a a not happy feeling i think it's very similar to mm, absent scan it's very similar to the to mamiya mamiya the digital camera they just don't render happiness so if you very skilled person you know how to take a picture you know how you how to use a manual i mean this will make you really know how to manual because the ring the the lens ring don't have it the distance distance skill so it has on the screen but screen is really bad you cannot see clearly it the screen is it's not sharp so you have a difficulty to see pictures and this this aperture because it's 45 millimeter so aper change aperture doesn't help much in focus so yeah you really on your own so and 400 iso i mean that's okay uh go beyond 400 i mean uh, no 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 mm. it just is very challenging and uh that's what I think about this camera and there's a review of the original user hi guys so as you see we are moving to a very big office now so everything is uh, different but due to COVID we are very very slow in renovation and uh, uh, but still i i really don't know well right now i still don't have a building permit i still don't have a renovation permit i don't have anything because our government is very slow in doing anything but uh, 
our channel probably not gonna stop. So today we are either show you guys our new fucking office, store, studio. Uh, ignore the tent, okay? We have money, we, we have a place to stay. We don't live here, okay? That's just for our friend. And uh, uh, I don't have a proper recording device today, so we're using our iPhone and uh, to record. Very simple. We are talking about this camera. You probably never heard of this. This is uh, uh, Sigma DP2. Why we have this? Because I just saw my friend. My friend just came from Paris. Oh, Montreal. Okay, not Paris. Okay, from French speaking area to visit us. Yeah, he watching our channel, so just uh, invite him on the show and uh, talk about this little camera. So come here. Sorry, guys, my English is not kind of really good. Uh, you can speak French, but I don't speak French. But it's okay. So. Yeah, quick question. So, uh, where, when, and how you bought this camera? Well, in fact, about a year ago, I saw it on Taobao, but considering it's kind of too pricey, I oh, didn't Oh, how much is too pricey? Well, it cost me about $500. $500 dollar on this? Yes, but after that, uh, about six months ago, I got some extra money, so I spent I spent about six hundred dollars on it <laughs> from Japan. Yeah, that's the thing. So imagine you have a lens like this lens could be one hundred bucks, and if you wait, it'll be two hundred because they don't make this thing anymore. Yeah. All film product or camera, those old stuff eventually will. Go up the price, but for your A seven R three or A seven three, you probably lose money rather than keep the value. Even though this is a very old, I mean, when is that? Two thousand twelve. Yes. Yeah, two thousand twelve. Okay, so six hundred bucks, and uh, with three battery, two battery. Well, in fact, it when it comes to my hand, it only has one battery. One I, battery. I bought the extra two battery from China because it's less pricey. Yeah. Okay, yo, so, and also, do you know why you bought this? Why you buy this? Well, when I first heard, heard of it, I heard that the color is excellent and it can just output about uh, 46 megapixel picture. And but I, when I really have it, I found that wow, the autofocus is shitty. And it's uh, shitty, yeah. Yeah, when it's, I, it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried this, it's so bad that time. I never seen any camera this bad. Even Leica X1 is better than this. So, but still, why you buy this? The color. Yeah, I might say the color. Yeah. And this shape look good. Yeah. The shape look good, okay, yeah. Square, square. Yeah, very nice design, more like a Leica. You don't see this kind of camera. Maybe Sigma. What's the new Sigma camera? I think the, the F F FP. 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 FP1. It's really similar, like the square and the round. I see, yeah. 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 So this is APS-C sensor. Yeah, we, uh, it's the frozen, uh, Froven X3 Froven. Yeah, okay, yeah. APS-C sensor. Yeah, and uh, do you, what's the advantage about this camera? I would say only the color. Only the color. Only the color. Yeah, and what's the disadvantage? Everything. Everything. For example, <laughs> if the batteries can only take about one battery for six, 60 to 80 pictures. 16 pictures? <laughs> yes! 16 pictures. This point is you can do 36 pictures. Just like a film well, camera. Yeah. This is. <laughs> yeah, just like a film camera. And when the ISO goes up to 400 or over 400, the, the noise will be unbearable. Okay, yeah. That, yeah. I mean that's that's okay, and also the yeah the recording speed yeah is so slow, so I taking this picture, and I want to see it. At least one minute. Uh, close to it. at least about twenty seconds to see the. No, no, one minute, one minute, definitely yeah. one minute. Yeah, it feel okay. like one minute. So you click, you wait, one minute, you can see the picture, but you can shoot right. Yeah, the buffer is okay, but it just yeah. recording time is very slow, and 480p, right? 480p video. 
Yeah, 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 of course. But 480p is okay because those is low resolution is in kind of popular now. It's very niche because right now everything is through 1080 or 4K, right? 480 is maybe you like it, you like it, you don't like it, you like it. I, I, I'm not saying it's an advantage or disadvantage. Okay, yeah. and uh, it doesn't have power flash. Yeah, it so it's it's all disadvantage, and the screen is a little bit off. Yeah. And also in Montreal in winter because I haven't figured out the the skin of the uh, the camera if it's metal or plastic. So in the Montreal the winter is about or cold day. Yeah, minus twenty. So your hands Celsius. will freeze. Yeah, freezing cold. And when I hold it, it's just like okay, it's freezing cold too, like a freezing cold ice on my hand. But it's just taking pictures with a really low autofocus speed. It's just like. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but but also another thing is you have a night camera, right? Yeah. You have a RB. Yep. You have a a Basa Leica M. Is it Basa Leica M? Voilander. Uh, yeah. What what yeah. Voilander? But you have Basel, a yeah. you have a Olympus. You have a. What else I can remember? You have a. Uh, Fuji X H one. Well, that's a way superior camera, right? Mm. You basically have a lot of camera, and you go back to China. You only take a four camera, yeah, and you have it right with you. Not, uh, the uh, only one right with you. Otherwise, in all in hotel. Yes. So Be that's the only camera. Because it's light, the color is good. Yeah. And I walk on the street, and I, yeah. every time I wanted to took something, I just, I just took yeah. it, took it. So, so what is the camera for? I don't even have to answer this question for average people. To yeah. just click to record your life, but I actually tried. I actually tried like five minutes ago. This camera is very creative. I it's very difficult. The autofocus is bad, but the manual focus is. I mean, it's it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what I find is very 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 little. Ah, shit, on my tongue. The manual focus is also bad because somehow you change the aperture because this lens is 45, 45, right? Yeah. 45 on manual focus is, is, is not good. Yeah. Like if you want really good at manual focus, 35, 28 will be amazing. 45, you always have some time to focus. Also for this ring, rubber, this ring, it doesn't have those uh, dial, those uh, distance. So it doesn't really, it doesn't really tell you anything. So. I, I, I know like you turn this way is close, you turn this way is far, that will help a little bit. And uh, but you can use manual focus. It, it for me I will spend I will not spend six hundred bucks on this, but if I have to spend six hundred bucks, I can make a really good picture. In fact I just did make some okay picture. Very hipster, very stylish. The color is amazing. I never seen any color only my Leica M, M9, can even come closer. It's not better, but same level of good. But this is more clean. Leica M is more, I don't know. So it's a good camera. If you can see through the all those disadvantage, I mean, everything is a disadvantage. <laughs> Everything's not good. But if you can see through it, you can use what you have. So what you have basically is color. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's, it's, it's just a manual focus camera. Yeah. I mean, it's good. You buy this for the color. Buy this for the the shape. Yeah. It's okay. All right. Uh, and I will continue to talk about something else. And your name is uh, Jim. Jim. Yeah. Yeah. You want to post your Instagram here or something? Yeah, maybe. Okay, Instagram here. Instagram, yeah. Okay. Bad pictures on it. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Bye. So you see this color, right? This camera rendered those incandescent light or continuous light very unique. It gives you a greenish tint, but it's dark. It. I don't know if the white balance is wrong or something. People say uh, you should shoot raw so you can adjust the white balance, but 
uh, you buy a camera while you're doing more work, right? And in fact, I think to learn how to appreciate it, this wrongness, this uniqueness, is the true joyful for photography. I mean, photography is sometimes, well, you shoot raw, you have the ability to adjust, but you also have the ability to choose the wrongness. So you see all this sunny day color is nothing really unique, unique. it's just a better. Uh, mm, but I seen the better camera, maybe like I am the better or Ricoh GR is better. But in because I think it's really strange about this foveon sensor thing. When shooting dark or you purposely underexposed, it's very poetic. It's very unique. You you see the shadow details, but the shadow color is is very vivid. It's not saturated, but the shadow is just more alive than any other camera. I think this is way better than Ricoh GR in the color. Well, I will not say it's better, but unique. It cannot describe. It feels like a a European rock metal music. It definitely doesn't belong to a modern perfection. It's it's belong to something underexposed. Even in golden hour, you see is different. This camera is belong to underexposed. This is what I think about this thing. Also, skin tone wise is, well, it's nothing for perfect skin or nothing for smooth. It just a sickly green that really have a, a like a post world Japan. You see, all have a, this sickling. Maybe we're Asian, but I don't see we're from property. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we have food to eat, so but it feels like we are, yeah, living a bad life. So this camera is nothing for. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this uh, very beautiful. Well, if you say sadness is beautiful, then this is very beautiful. But strange is, very very strange is. If you use a flash on this camera, the skin tone are the most superior one I've ever seen. See, that's our office in low light. Pair this camera with flash, it's amazing. The big brightest flash, the skin tone are. I I didn't try a lot, but I probably gonna maybe uh, try to uh, have a DP one because I don't really like forty five. Millimeter because if you, forty five for me is very restrained. I would like a wide angle one. So if one day I have a DP one, I will do more on flash. You see this, yeah, even overexposed. So this color is there. If you like it, then you like it. I think that's it for today. Thank you so much. Bye bye.